SEC media days. Greg Sankey, of course, uh, had a lot to say in his opening bit. Uh, first off, the news that popped over the weekend, Bush's Beans is the new official bean of the SEC. <laughs> which they signed a three-year deal. Uh, I guess that's cool. Uh, if you've seen the pictures with the dog, with all of the Bush's baked bean cans, it is phenomenal. Phenomenal entertainment for sure. But, uh, but Greg Sankey at SEC Media Days came out and started talking about quite a bit of stuff. He did say to the SEC Network early on that um, that the SEC is not going to get in the middle of uh, those teams, those schools that have grant of rights, which effectively eliminates ACC teams from joining the SEC. So any rumors, any talk about that can kind of be tossed out the window. Uh, we, we don't have to worry about talking about North Carolina and Virginia and Florida State and Clemson, et cetera. We're not gonna, we don't have to hash that all, all out again. Um, but some of the, the interesting things that he did talk about, uh, he did mention in the press conference, in the introductory talk, when asked, he said that the SEC is already a Super League. And when asked if Texas and Oklahoma joining the SEC trumps USC and UCLA joining the Big Ten, he did mention that, yes, he believes so. And I tend to agree with him. Uh, I, I think it's absolutely a bigger move for those two brands to join the SEC. It also helps keep a rivalry intact, which, of course, USC and UCLA is also a rivalry. But Texas and Oklahoma, a monster matchup. You've also got just more of a regional feel with this. You're not going all the way across the country to try and put together some kind of strange rivalries. You're not going to have a UCLA and Penn State rivalry. That's just a... It, it, I don't know that it will ever feel right. But... Oklahoma and Texas A&M, Texas, Texas A&M, Oklahoma and Alabama, uh, Texas against Georgia, stuff like that, Like that's regionally a little more understandable, right? Those make sense. Uh, USC and Michigan, eh, I mean, we've seen Rose Bowl matchups with it, but what exactly does that bring to the table, right? It, it's a fun matchup with, with big names, and it'll draw eyeballs, but there's no regional familiarity. Certainly say that. Uh, Greg Sankey did say that there's no sense of urgency to expand beyond 16 teams. Um, what else do we have? Oh, regarding the college football playoff. Sankey did say that conference championship access was a compromise that the alliance basically squashed. I, I found that very interesting. The SEC is leaning, and Sankey has said this multiple times, they're kind of done with the idea of having any automatic qualifiers. Conference championships do not matter anymore when it comes to this next round of playoffs, which will start after the 2025 season. So, you know, they they all kind of had their shot. The Pac-12, the ACC, the Big 12, etc. Like, in the Big 12, voted along with the SEC. I think that Bob Bowlesby understood, hey, if we want to make sure that we have our champion in this thing, we got to go with this. And those conferences were pushing for, no, we need to make sure that our five conferences are named. And those are the ones that are supposed to get it, not the top six conference champions, which was complete ridiculousness. And yes, I understand that a lot of this, why the Big Ten and the Pac-12 and the ACC voted against it, was so that the Big Ten could get Fox involved at the uh, negotiating table. Because ESPN had the exclusive negotiating rights, if you were to expand it initially, ESPN was going to get that first batch. But why you wouldn't just go ahead and do this makes no sense. Because now I don't believe that there is any way that we will get automatic qualifiers into the playoff, whether it be four teams, eight teams, or 12 teams. I just I don't see a way that that happens without getting the Big Ten and the SEC on board, and I don't think the Big Ten is so worried about the Pac-12 and the ACC now. I think the Alliance ended up hurting two of those leagues. So, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, just a, a fun bit of early news from the SEC media days. And Zanke, of course, uh, coming out with haymakers, really. like it, Whatever he says in settings like this becomes massive news stories 
all the time. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.